Hey guys, welcome to this deal sniping video. This will be a video dedicated to electricity. Um, I myself am not too aware of electricity myself, so I actually had to dig up a little bit of uh, amateur like research for this video. Uh, but I generally, generally kind of understand the idea of amps, watts, and voltages. So again, uh, this is a product provided by the KJJI brand. Uh, it's a two-in-one uh, Type-C USB tester. Uh, with this device, you can actually measure the accurate voltage, amperage, and uh, watts of any of your electric currents. That includes your batteries, uh, any of your lamps, uh, you know, what else, your phones, etc, etc. Uh, and of course, you can test the quality of the US key cables and you can also charge your phones with this. It provides fast charging as well. And uh, we're going to actually see if a lot of chargers actually deliver fast charging uh, versus normal charging. And of course, uh, those devices will have different currents within them. Open it first. As you can see, um, this is your USB digital tester, right? These alligator clips need and then I will try to test and see if it's actually super accurate all right so as you guys can see I got the setup here so you guys can actually look directly see what I am looking at uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually take this out of the package this one actually comes uh, with an LED display that indicates all the different measurements that you guys need uh, you can get an English interface uh, interface or Chinese interface and you can actually customize the font size for easier reading or you can have it measure specific calculations um, it comes like in with alligator clips like I mentioned earlier but because I'm not going to be using these I'm going to go ahead and set them to the side and then so you do have your USB digital tester as you guys can see it does have like a little peel but you know because I want to preserve it I'm just going to keep the peel out uh, you do have your USB input the USB output here on the bottom as well as your type C input and of course your type C output and you do have your display reset button and with this button you actually control and nav navigate through the different menus and commands that are included. On the side here, they actually include a little micro, S uh, micro USB port. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and test this device. Uh, and I just want you guys to know that uh, regular USB charging, uh, normal charging speed is around 5 volts uh, or 1 amp and uh, one amp between two amps as well. So again, it uses around five to 10 watts respectively because we know that uh, watts is basically your amps versus uh, times your volts as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this charger. I have two different chargers. So we're actually gonna test it on both. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this one from the USB input. And because I plug it through the USB input, It should have a beep sound and of course you do see your volts and your amps and your watts. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hook it up uh, to my phone as well. So as as soon as I hook up my phone, it should be charging my phone. And at the same time, you can actually see that the amps have increased uh, to 0.98. So I just mentioned that normal charging speeds delivers up to uh, two amps, so between one to two amps. And as you can see, that's clearly indicated. 1.98 is almost as close uh, to one amp. And of course, uh, it delivers up to five volts. And of course, you guys can see that this indicates uh, 5.10 volts, and that is equivalent to around roughly five watts. Uh, it occasionally dips to 4.97, uh, but again, that is normal charging speed. So again, this device provides that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys another reading to show its accuracy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this off. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. And again, uh, when you do plug it in, you get the same kind of results. 
This one provides normal charging as well at 1.19 amps and uh, 5.10 volts. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you can actually customize it. Um, this button is the button that you would press uh, to change through the menus and different navigations. So again, if you click on this once, you can actually get different readings. And uh, those are the other measurements that you guys can actually set it to. And it's basically the overload voltage protection that you guys just saw. Uh, if you just further click on the menu, you have access to different things as well. Um, again, so that is the KJ, uh, KJI multifunctional two-in-one digital uh, multi-tester. Um, you guys can actually practically just test any device that you can connect it to. It has a wide application to it. Uh, just make sure the respective device that you connect it to has the proper input and output source on top of that. So again, uh, with this device, you can actually have the overload voltage uh, protection function, the low voltage protection function, and as well as the overcurrent protection function. And honestly, Make sure you read thoroughly this user manual. I really do believe it gets confusing, uh, but as long as you understand the manual, it should be really simple to use. Uh, we will be using this here at Deal Sniper. So if you ever come across any of our other videos in the future with electronic products, and I am taking this little bad boy out, you already know what's up. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out, guys.